Okay, today we're in the kitchen and and we're gonna find kitchen tools. So I cruise my little self over to the local Walmart and I'm like, ah, oh, there's gotta be stupid things here. So don't <laughs> worry, I found some. Right. But I also found useful things. So we're gonna go over a couple kitchen gadgets. And as moms who are in the kitchen, helping our kids, making fun things, trying out stuff, we need some of these tools. And sometimes it's like, I don't know, maybe this is really useful and I'm missing it. Okay, so this is the first one. And they're a pair of tongs. Do you know how to use them? Push, there you go. You gotta push to make it spring open. Okay, can you see that those are hands? Okay, so what am I gonna use these for? Okay, so I'm gonna use them on the grill because they are actually up to 400 degrees, supposed to go for hot things. Now I guess you could use them on a stove top too. I was just like, maybe like my drumsticks oh. or chicken. I just so, wonder how good that grips because the fingers are like bendy. So, cause, so will it grip well? I don't know. And so to it's me, funny. this seems so stupid. Can't like, you spit why? Money on this. It was funny. And I, I was like, how is that gonna be better than a normal tong where you get like, some sort of grip area. Stop it. <gasps> no, it's like a thumb war. It's a tall war. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I declare a tall war. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna have, we're gonna try out the different tongs, and they're just they're just little guys. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. I do like the locking mechanism because those do. always spring. Although I wonder like. So, they do that. Yeah. <laughs> so when you put them in a drawer, are they gonna hit something to spring open? I don't know, because mine always open up and then you open your drawer and they get jammed. Mm. I have a, a big set that locks like that for the grill and that's, it reminded me of that. So oh. I knew what to do with it when I found it. Mm -hmm. um, but I keep it in like just the few things for my grill stuff so it doesn't really jam up in my drawer. Okay. But a little guy's gonna go, I don't know where. I mean, you could hang him still. He's got a little hole. He could. He could hang. And so maybe he's super useful for those little things on the grill. Maybe some vegetables if you're like. A corn of the cob? Maybe, maybe a corn. So we're gonna try it out. Not today, but I thought it was like, it just, I just couldn't not buy the stupid <laughs> talk. <laughs> we're hoping it's a stupid useful thing. That's right. I think that's the goal is to like find the stupid things and make them useful, right? There you go. So those, I don't know, the jury's still out. <laughs> right? All right, now my second one. Okay, it's not stupid at all. Okay, so it's- Well, some of you out there might be like, you're seriously gonna do that, that's lame. So, okay. cause this is a new tool that I've been using lately that I've never used before because I was legit like one of those. Why would I? Are you I? kidding? Why would I do that? Why would I waste my time with this? Okay, and, all right, in all of my life, literally all of my life, I've never owned one. Like my, I don't remember one at my mom's house. Maybe growing up there was one, but like literally, so here's my sifter. And it's just one of the really easy, cheap manual ones. And so inside is a screen. And so you put your flour in and then you sift it and then you get to remeasure it out after it's sifted for your recipes. And I've never, I've been afraid of making like homemade um, muffins and things or cakes because you have to sift the flour and I've never had one. Okay, pause right here. This is what I do instead. I've been so cheap over my whole entire life that I just use a really cheap strainer. And who wants to put like two cups of flour through that? Nobody. So I don't ever like sift my flour, which is why I spent the money. So okay. how's it going <laughs> sifting for you? I'm so glad you find this for the money instead of doing that. Cause I would never I just do that. Didn't, I wouldn't bother because right. that's what I would have to do. So I actually have two at my house. I got mine for my grandmother. So, Aww, one, right, that's how you know that nobody uses these anymore because I heard it from my grandma. So, oh, I have a squeeze handle one. I wanted one like that, but they, this yep. is Yeah, and it has two blades that spin back and forth like this mm -hmm. to sift through. And then I have one like this. And to be honest, I didn't know that that's what this one was because I knew that this one was a sifter. So I was like, what would I need to have for? <laughs> So I have two sifters now that I've seen yours. Now she knows. Right? So, but I have started using mine. So I no longer think that they're dumb. Right. So because when you're cooking with almond flour, even if you get the fine mill yes, one. The extra fine, it's still. Right, there's still the big chunky enough. things in it. Um, and even like, I have to admit, I've started using it before that because I mix 
my whole wheat and my regular flour. Mm -hmm. And whole wheat has extra grain to it too, so I would sift it. So then in mine, like you get some of the bigger chunks left over. So then I can dump out the bigger chunks and everything else is fluffier. And it does make a huge difference. And right now, I've uh, figured out that the biggest difference is when I make like the fat bombs or like I do any type of cooking with my almond flour. If I sift it first, it gives it a softer texture that's more like normal flour. It absorbs the moisture better and things like that, and it's just more filling. So, so super useful, especially if you're using whole wheat or mixed flours or coconut flour. Like I would definitely use one of these. But even making cakes and muffins. Yes. Because like mine aren't good, so I just don't bother trying. And so I'm like, I'm gonna do it. Right. I'm gonna make it. and. Some of these things that we're talking about, like maybe the fat bombs, we're gonna do a recipe day for you yes. and we're gonna try out some of these things and show you what it's like and we'll put it into action, but not today. <laughs> right, now you have something to want from us. Okay, <laughs> so now maybe people think this one's kind of stupid too, but if they do... I forgot the zucchini. Okay, so there's a couple of things we can do with it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, this is like, I got the mom hair going on today. This is definitely my mom day. It's been a busy day. <laughs> it has okay. been a busy day. <laughs> Sometimes when we get together, we still have a whole other life going on. Imagine that. Life stress. All right, okay. So I found one for me. So as we've been eating healthy and doing recipes, um, Tiffany had already had one. So it's, um, Good it's a vegetable spiraler. Okay, so this one's called Twist Spiral Slicer, super generic. So there we go. So these are to turn um, vegetables into like noodles. So Yay, the zucchini would be a super easy one to example. Sorry. So now I have to find something else. Okay, Ooh, she just opened it. I haven't even opened this one, it's brand new. Sorry, I'm anxious. All right, so it looks like you have a thin and a thick side. Oh, recipe book. Okay. All right, and then here's your little doodah in thingy with a giant claw on it. Like that's vicious plastic, so beware. So you're gonna shove that in the hole and pierce it on this side. Ooh. <laughs> it's a potato, okay? It is, we probably should It would be okay. easier with something else. Yep, all right, well, and is then- Is this the thin side or the thick side? I'm on the thin side. We're gonna move that over to the thick side because it's a potato. Yeah, we want some. Yep, and you can totally see the lines on here where I'm gonna spin it and it's gonna cut. Do you wanna spin it? This one's yours. You oh, spin I'll, it. I'll spin the potato. All right, so as she's spinning that, I'm gonna talk a little bit about mine. Because mine is an all-in-one connection and you change out the blades down here. Mine comes with three different blades. A thin one, a thick one, and then what's supposed to be like a giant, um, what do they call it? A thick ribbon. So it's a ribbon because it still spiral curls. It does not do a flat one, which we tried really hard to do it flat and it never did it for us, right? Pretty much. All right, so my little pokey things are up here. I have a smaller potato. Should I use your same potato? Ow. Oh, oh, hers is working really good. See, this is one. Oh, this to. is the ribbon, my bad. That's okay, ribbons are good, especially for I know. potatoes. I'm just like, so well, you can make curly fries. Now one weird thing with mine, there's always great things, right? Always. Story of my life. I'm just gonna keep going. Right, hers is successful, mine's a little more awkward. Okay, so, but I, so you get this weird little spiral thingy. Every it's time. like white on white, I don't know. There you go. Every time it's like, it tucks in the bottom corner because there's like a weird hole right there. And every time, I'm like, it's just, you end up with like, this little doodah thing. A little extra cone. Right, I don't know what even call it. It's weird. But, it works. Check it out. I wonder if I could do an apple in there to make my apple pie. I know, I was like, hers looks so good. I'm so proud of her spiraler. Mine is not. How is your spiral It's going not going there? well. I have lots of little pieces. Oh, it like crumbles. Okay, yeah. well, let's try a carrot in my, that. Okay, all right, so I'm putting on can I break your carrot in half? Yeah, I feel yeah. like, um, oh, here we go. I was like, the skin was kind of a problem for mine. I think that was part of this one. So maybe mine, if I was doing potatoes, I would want to peel it because I'm getting a ribbon now. Oh, so, so there, there we go. go. Okay, so that makes me feel better. It's our first time. I hadn't used this guy before. And again, zucchinis are nice and soft, so they'll spiral pretty easily for you. Um, I don't know about a carrot on this guy. I've never tried right? that before. We've only done carrots. All right, so I'm gonna like stick it way out here. 
Hey, I got a, a couple of ribbons. I'm very proud of it now. I was worried because this one's mine, so when I use zucchinis, I want it to actually work. Right? All right. I know, I'm like, I feel like it's too narrow. Yeah, it's weird. Carrot. Like, I don't know how a carrot would work in this. And so these are just some other vegetable suggestions. They mentioned squash Mine never also. said carrot. Okay. Right, mine did. So that's why I was like, okay, well, you said so. I right. guess we'll so try So I'm just it. getting little pieces, too, out of mine. Because it's really hard to get that to... Right. So mine so definitely wrong. tells you, like, bigger, thicker pieces. Well, it shows a carrot. See? All right. One more time, because this is ridiculous. In the middle. Bam. All right. I feel like we're just making If you want mess. shredded carrots for your salad, this will do it. In the slowest way possible. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so the All carrots right. were not very successful. No. We did get the potatoes to give us some ribbons, and she got beautiful ribbons. I got a little bit of strings going on. Yep. So again, like the vegetable spiral slicer is a really fun tool, and we've made um, zucchini noodles um, lots of times now, and it, it tastes really good, and it adds more vegetables. You feel like your meal is more full like that, and you're avoiding some of the extra carbohydrates you don't need, so. Uh, I do have one question for you. Sure. So when you hold on to this, and this is your handle, because yeah, your handle's yeah. separate, and mine's all together as one, and this actually spins. Yeah. Which, like, was that awkward and uncomfortable? Would you prefer to have a all in one piece like this, or did that work just fine and didn't matter? Um, so I don't have a good fair comparison, because I have used this one a lot more, and that was really easy just to have it all connected. This, I mean, especially like with the carrot, it was awkward. Yeah, that was to awkward too, the carrot. So. so, I mean, I guess like with the potato, I did get it to start doing it. I don't know if I even really needed it though until I would get down far enough, because it's just kind of in my way to try okay. and hold that. So it's almost like, well, if I'm just doing it, I could just, I'm more successful yep, that without definitely. the tool. So, okay, it's an interesting design. This what I found. All right, so here's some weird, wonky, stupid, useful tools that we use in our kitchen. What do you use in your kitchen? Yep, and let us know some of the fun things. And if you're interested in trying this out or seeing us actually make yes. something, you know, let us know and we'll figure it out for you. Yep. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video and click the notification bell. And we'll see you next time. I love it. I, I love know. So this is one of my like girls' shirts that they didn't like because it doesn't oh. button down all the way, and I was like, then I'll take it. So I mean, cute. I can't button it all the way, but I think it looks good with the undershirt. Yeah, it does.